Hello everyone, how are you today? This video will be a little different from the past videos that I recorded. So this is not a lesson video, all right? This is titled, How Good Are You in Math? A Virtual Experiment. Since we can't go out and ask people to answer the survey or answer the questions, let's make this online or virtual. Do not jump in yet to the question, okay? Because I will be telling you on how to participate. By the way, anyone can join, anyone can participate regardless of the age, gender, nationality, or occupation. So you will be answering seemingly simple format questions that have become viral in social media, in Twitter, in Facebook, uh, even in Instagram. So some of you might be familiar with those questions. Now, these are the instructions. So since they can be accessed in the internet, do not access the internet to find the answer. So let's be honest with this. All right. Second, do not use calculator. Questions actually do not require the use of calculator. Number three, write only one answer for each question. Two or more would be considered wrong. And then just write the number. No unit, no symbol, no dollar sign, nothing at all, just the number. Otherwise, your answer will be considered wrong. Now, how will you submit your answers? Open the Google Form. The Google Form will actually be in the description sections. Answer the required information and answers to the questions. Don't worry because your information and sub submission will be kept confidential. Number five. You will know your score after you click Submit. So there are four questions. Uh, you will know your score if you achieve 100% or if you only got three out of four. Uh, you will know the answers. You will know your score after you click Submit. The number six, this is uh, a bit important. Do not share if you know the answer. And then share the video so that we can get more responses. Seven, read the comment section only after you click submit. So I think some of you might have, you know, the habit of looking at the answers in the comment section. So please do not do that. Answers can be submitted until the end of June. Why until the end of June? Hopefully we can get many participants so that we can get many responses. All right. So please share the video if you find this very interesting. Number nine, the result of the experiment will be shared on the first week of July. So I'll be sharing with you the percentage. Um, who is better? Is it the men or the women? Um, adults or teens? So does a fifth grader better than a college student? Um, we will find that out from, from the responses, okay? So, let's go now to the questions. Question number one. It, this question number one, it looks very easy and simple, but it has caused a lot of controversy. So this is how the question look like. Can you solve this? All right, so I will give you time. You can actually go back and forth. Um, in the video you can even pause this so that you can think of how can this be solved all right question number two so more than 50 percent of students from the prestigious universities in the u.s like harvard harvard and mit got this wrong and this is how the question looked like a bat and ball cost one dollar and ten cents the bat cost one dollar more than the ball how much does the ball cost you can even get a pen and paper and then try to solve this and then um, keep it aside first and then later on you will uh, accomplish the google form let's go to question three this is actually a math question for grade 2 students and it has brought some chaos to students and parents because they are not sure of the answer. And then one mother, a mom, posted this problem on Twitter asking for solution. 
and this is how it looks like. There were some people on the train. 19 people get off the train at the first stop. 17 people get on the train. Now there are 63 people on the train. How many people were on the train to begin with? Question 4. This question was originally made by GoTumble and it was published on the Daily Mail. And then it was shared on Wicker and eventually shared on Facebook and became so viral. And what is the question? This is how it goes. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 2 plus 5 equals 12. 3 plus 6 equals 21. What is 8 plus 11? So these are all the four questions. I wish you good luck. And again, the link to this Google form, you can find that in the description section. Or you can copy this link in your uh, search engine. So once again, thank you very much for listening. Happy solving.